Most states and the federal government divide the crime of murder into two degrees. First degree, requiring deliberation and premeditation, and second degree, merely requiring intent to kill. But what exactly do deliberation and premeditation mean, and how do they differ from mere intent to kill? The West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals addressed that issue in Guthrie v. State. Dale Guthrie suffered from multiple serious mental disorders and had daily panic attacks. One of his conditions was a rare dysmorphic disorder causing him to be obsessed with his nose. He stared at his nose in a mirror dozens of times per day and repeatedly sought assurances that his nose wasn't abnormal. Guthrie worked as a dishwasher at a restaurant. One night, a co-worker of his, Stephen Farley, engaged in horseplay with Guthrie by slapping him with a wet dish towel. Until that point, the two men had gotten along well. Farley was unaware of Guthrie's psychiatric problems and had no idea he was causing distress to Guthrie. After Farley snapped the towel on Guthrie's nose, Guthrie removed his dishwashing gloves and moved toward Farley. Farley joked that Guthrie was removing his gloves as if to prepare for a fistfight. Guthrie then pulled a knife from his pocket and stabbed Farley in the neck. Farley fell to the ground, looked up at Guthrie and said, quote, Man, I was just kidding around, unquote. Guthrie replied, quote, Well, man, you should have never hit me in the face, unquote. Farley died from the stabbing and Guthrie was charged with first-degree murder. Although he didn't dispute what he had done, Guthrie pleaded not guilty and sought to be convicted of a lesser offense, either second-degree murder or manslaughter. After the close of the evidence at trial, the trial court instructed the jury about the elements of first-degree murder. The court stated jurors had to find that Guthrie acted in a deliberate and premeditated manner. The court defined those terms as collectively meaning the same thing as intentional, but also separately told jurors that premeditation meant that an intent to kill need only exist for an instant. The court instructed jurors that to find Guthrie guilty of second-degree murder, they needed to find that Guthrie possessed intent to kill, but didn't carry out the act in a deliberate and premeditated manner. After the jury convicted Guthrie of first-degree murder, he appealed to the West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals. Among the claims he raised was the assertion that the trial court's instructions failed to properly distinguish between first- and second-degree murder. 